Hey guys, welcome back to another PineScript video from our PineScript video tutorial series. So today in this video, we're going to talk about how you can use reference manual in PineScript. So there is a built-in reference manual in the trading view which you can use. In order to get that menu, what you have to do is you have to go here and click on these three dots. And from here, you can go to PineScript reference pop-up. Okay. Now what it's going to do is it's going to pop up a window which contains everything that we need for PineScript. So here we have some language operators and here are all the built-in variables. And if you click on the name of the variable, like if we click adjustment dot none, it's going to tell us what this function is for or what this variable is for and how you can use it. Okay. So you can see that there are a lot of built-in variables which makes our job really really easy when we're doing the when we're writing a script for an indicator or a strategy and there are also built-in functions which we can read from reference manual okay so here you can see that the built-in function box.get pop and you can see how we can use that and how it is used and what it does so basically it returns the price value of the top of top border of the box so you don't actually need to remember all the variables but you need to remember some few basic variables that will help you write the basic codes and as you move along and learn inside the time script you you will eventually come across all the variables when you're using them okay so for now you can just go through it in order to just make you understand what kind of things are possible in in pine Square. okay so and another way you can go to reference manual is you can also power over to the function and you can see it gave us a pop-up which says the plot and plot a series of data on chart so it also gives us a little bit information about our our function or variable and here we can see that this is closed and when we power over it, it it gives us the current close price so in a similar way you can hover over to any function or variable and it will give you what it does and how you can use it and what what is the correct syntax to use that variable and another way which we can use the functions are or suggestions that are given in PineScript version 4 because this is this feature is only limited to PineScript version 4. So if I type color dot and if I hit full space, it's gonna give me suggestions. So from here I can choose any color I want and I can also see what kind of options are available for color variable. So I can select silver and in a similar way I can go down and say plot dot and it's gonna give me all the suggestions that we can use for plot function so these are all built-in variables and we can get the suggestions by hitting control plus space along with the function add with dot at the end so here you can see i can get all the suggestions so i hope you like this video if you have any questions please comment down below and i would love to answer them you can also visit our website www.forexb.co in order to learn more about PyScript and PySection in Forex. And please make sure to visit our playlist regarding PyScript video tutorial series which will help you learn PyScript from scratch. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.